Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE. Chapter 5. In this chapter, we'll take a look at the review questions. Let's start with review question number one. Which of the following people are not qualified to practice before the Internal Revenue Service? A. Certified Public Accountants B. Attorneys C. The State Comptroller or D. Enrolled Actuaries The correct answer is C. The State Comptroller would be restricted from practicing before the Internal Revenue Service because the Comptroller works for the State in tax matters. Now let's take a look at review question number two. True or false? An individual being audited by the Internal Revenue Service has the right to represent him or herself without the assistance of an attorney, certified public accountant, or enrolled agent? The answer is true. Individuals may appear on their own behalf before the IRS provided that they present satisfactory identification. Now let's take a look at review question number three. Joe is a certified public accountant. Mary has hired Joe to assist her with filing taxes for her business. Which of the following is an example of Joe practicing due diligence in the assistance of Mary? A. Joe intentionally and unreasonably delays the filing of Mary's taxes. B. Joe calls Mary to advise her of an error Mary made in payroll tax calculations. C. Joe gets advice from Mary's former CPA who cannot practice due to a current suspension. Or D. Joe fails to correct a misspelling of Mary's business name in paperwork. The correct answer is B. A practitioner must advise the client promptly about any noncompliance, error, or omission in paperwork. Like what you see? Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE.